Greetings friends, Charles Fellingham here welcoming you to this episode of What Hollywood Teaches Us About. This video series takes excerpts from popular movies that support sound advice and winning strategies for important business topics. Our topic today is handling client objections. And this film segment is from No Reservations, a 2007 American romantic comedy drama film directed by Scott Hicks and starring Catherine Zeta-Jones, brilliantly playing chef Kate Armstrong, who is the head chef at a trendy 22 Bleecker Street restaurant in the West Village of Manhattan, New York. She runs her kitchen at a rapid pace as she coordinates the making and preparation of all of the fantastic meals and personally seeks to display the perfection of her culinary creations. In this scene, Kate's emotions get the best of her as a customer is critical of the preparation of his dish. She reacts in an entertaining way. Watch now as the scene unfolds. That is rare. Apparently not rare enough. Any rarer to walk out of here and hail a cab. Look, these are ad agency people. They spend a lot of money here. No tantrums tonight. Just fire another one. All right, one rare steak on the fly. Rare steak on the fly. Where's the lamb for six? Have a crab. Great, chef. Pick up. Shireen Capaccio. <laughs> Asshole on seven again. He wants to know whether you've ever seen a rare steak before. Rare enough for you? Are you out of your mind? Yeah, that's why I'm in there. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll get you a new tablecloth. Oh no, please let me take care of that. <laughs> I wish there was a cookbook for life, you know? With the recipes telling us exactly what to do. There is so much to take from this scene and this film. I remember someone once told me, I love people. I just hate dealing with the public. That still makes me laugh when I think of it. For those of us who are client facing, as I have been for almost three decades, we have experienced at least one time when we just wanted to say what was on our mind and get it out. Yet, our inner voice got the best of us and caused us to react in a more professional way. Be grateful for your inner voice. It's near impossible to undo the innumerable consequences of an ill-advised outburst in reaction to a customer objection, no matter how good it felt in the moment. Unless you're planning to walk off the job, as Kate did. Remember that while we may not say what is on our mind, our nonverbal language will still reveal our thoughts. So the inner game should be centered around the customer is supreme. Handling objections and solving problems come from a better place when we wear and own that motto. This scene is therapy for me, as I can watch it to release the anxiety I might feel from a confrontational moment without actually bursting at the seams for all the world to see. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and we look forward to presenting our next episode for your education and enjoyment. And if you have any suggestions for movie clips and their message, please pass them along to me, and I'll be sure to give you credit in that production. This is Charles Fellingham saying thanks again for watching and learning, and we will see you next time.